All right, so let's take a quick look at colors in PowerPoint, not so much from a design perspective, but really more of a strategic perspective. So let me start with this. How many times do you think you have created a new shape, seen that blue, and then what? What's the next thing you do? You double click it, and then you change it to a color uh, that you need to work with. I can't tell you how many times I've done it, so I'm guessing others have done it the same. Not many colors or courses are really based around or include this particular blue. Most times there's something else. But this blue does come from a very specific color, an accent color that's part of the basic design theme. And that's from Design, Colors, Office. So that's the basic color. So if you move down here, you'll see this change based on the color scheme, right? So the blue is right here. I don't know if you can see it. And as I move down, there's the gray, there's that um, tan, and then so on. Well, a couple minor changes. There's really a lot of things you can do with color. I mean, it's not as simple as we're going to show here, but really at the end of the day, you only need to know two things. Well, I only know two things. Two things being the default text color and the default shape color come from a specific color in the color scheme. And from there, you can make a modification to make your really your daily production flow a lot easier. And that is to go into design, go to colors, and then find out whether it's on a project level or maybe it's on a corporate style guide level or you know customer level. Find out what those default colors are you're going to work with and then make those changes. So we can just base everything off of Office, but we could all obviously start with another one. So I create new theme. So the text right here, right, by default is 100% black. Uh, a lot of times I work with 100% black, but then also a lot of times I work with a, a shade of black, maybe just a, a charcoal gray or dark gray. I don't want 100%. This is where that comes from, text, background, dark, one. So maybe you are working with 15% uh, lighter black, okay? And then the same thing with the accent color, right? So if it's not part of these colors right here, find out what those values are. You can, you can select more colors, and then you can you know, dial in the RGB value set that color, right? And then come over here, I'll click OK. There it is. So at a minimum, right, you're, you're going to affect your default text color and then your default shape. Now text can be controlled from your slide master. So that's not as important, but your color, your accent color cannot. So what you set here is really the color you're going to be kind of looking at every time you, you know, draw a new shape on your slide. So that's a big one to change. Uh, hyperlink and follow links if you want to change the links. Now, there are six accent colors, and if I move this over, I'm going to click Save. I can't see it. Okay. Let me show you this real quick. This is the color. These are the colors that come from right here, right? I draw this out, shape, fill, and these are the colors that you see from your normal fill color. I kind of I put this line in there because I think it really helps kind of visualize how PowerPoint has set up their colors. These right here on the top are your six accent colors, right? So there's that blue, right, that we first looked at. Here is your black text, your white background, and then this is the alternative uh, version two uh, background and text. So if you think about it when you're selecting these, these are your accent colors. So these might be what you're always working with when you're setting up your designs. Come out here, and obviously these colors are interchangeable, but as you change themes, that's how it's going to be affected. So if you think about one, two, starting at the fifth square, the fifth cube, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's the order in which uh, these shapes are aligned right here. So if I come right here to design, change it to office, that's them right there, starting with the blue and right there. So that's just how the, uh, the order is set up. And if you think about this line right here, um, just kind of separating those. But at the very minimum, right, just change your accent color. If you're not using that blue, if you are, then that's great. Then you got what you have what you need. And then your text color. So if I apply this to the color scheme I just created, right, custom one, I mean, you can't probably see it too closely, but this is now a gray and not a black. And then same thing with this, uh, this accent one color, it's now a, uh, a green. And then you can also go into your slide master and make the same changes, right? So if I went to view and then slide master, you can set the color for every one of these based on what you have set up for your theme colors. And that's another way to control your overall styles throughout your course, especially if you're going to hand it off to, say, another uh, you know, customer designer. You can set up all those bullet points uh, with their specific colors right there. But the two mo main things, again, your text background color and your accent, two most important changes you can make to your uh, default color schemes.